Oracle database 11G release 2, Oracle brought about a host of features. One of the major changes was the implementation of SCAN, single client access name. What does this mean is not understood by many people. So this video and the next video will help you understand this. Before we move into understanding what is a SCAN, let us understand how an application connects and works. An application, when it connects, it contacts a listener and would have to then get connected to the instance. When you have an REC setup where you have two nodes, there are going to be two instances running on two different hosts. Both the hosts will have their own respective IP addresses, plus additionally, cluster where the software that manages the cluster would have also something called as a virtual IP address or a VIP that it will assign to both the nodes. Now, when one of the instances goes down, the virtual IP will fail over to the other node. Thereby, when a request comes to connect to the VIP, it can communicate back saying that node is down and hence the client can now connect to another node. How will the client connect to the other node? Going back to the client connectivity settings, on the application, you would now have not just a single host name specified. Instead, you will list down all the host names which are part of the cluster and you will not give the host name. Instead, you will give the VIP name. Let's say you have a four node cluster. You would have four host names, four IP addresses which are managed by the operating system. But apart from that, when you create the cluster, you will give four VIPs and four VIP names or VIP host names, which will be associated with all the four nodes. The host name and IP address is managed by the operating system, whereas the VIP and the VIP name are managed by the clusterware. Thereby, whenever a node goes down, the VIP will fail over to another node and it will still respond. But please note, the VIP will not take new connection requests when it has failed over. It is only going to tell back to the application that that VIP is down. So in your client, you would list all the VIPs so that when a client wants to connect, it can look at any one of the VIPs and get connected. So let's say I have four VIPs mentioned in my connect service name in my application or in my connect string. When a connection is made, it will try with the first VIP. If it could connect, it gets connected. If not, it will try the second. If not, it will try the third. So that is how in an RAC environment, VIPs come into play. Thereby, the application need not necessarily know which nodes are up. The process of connection itself will take care of connect time failover. If node one has failed, the VIP on node one would have failed over to any one of the remaining nodes. And when a connection request comes, it will immediately tell the client, hey, I'm not available, please try with some other node. This is the underlying idea behind which database connectivity was established prior to 11G release 2. But it is in 11G release 2, they brought about SCAN. And to understand about SCAN, we need to understand one more aspect called as server pools, which we will understand in the next video.